What's up, nerds? It's your man DK Fitnerd coming at you today with a brand new Final Fantasy Brave Exvius banner review. It's going to be my first of 2020, and we're bringing along Final Fantasy 15's Big Bad Arden and Pops Regis. So let's get started. Okay, so for this week, our featured summon is going to be the Final Fantasy 15 banner with the Chancellor of Niflheim, Arden Izunia, the King of Insomnia. Reg Regis, or Reggie, as Sid likes to call him in game. Spoiler alert. We have our 25k normal step up banner with a guaranteed rainbow step three, and at the very end of it, the guaranteed on banner rainbow on the 11th pull for step five. If you go through this banner one time and then pull on the first step. Again, you'll collect four of these five-star tickets, and you can exchange those tickets for a 20% on-banner rainbow in a special banner pull that will be a guaranteed rainbow, and it's a 20% chance at either getting Regis or Arden. You can take your test your luck on that one if you want to, if you feel like it. You can also trade 140 of the summon coins in a shop banner to get the prism for one or the other as well since you're going through the step up anyway and you don't get so lucky as to get two to make a seven star you can go ahead and get a prism that way as well now moving on to the units we've got Arden he's going to be a physical DPS and debuffer he's going to be mainly dark and fire damage user he can imbue and imperil by himself he doesn't need an outside in peril outside in view um, for his super trust master reward he's got undying vengeance boost HP 20% and attack 60% and nullify poison blind sleep silence paralysis confusion disease and stone so he's getting essentially a, a um, not anti-disease but the discernment Materia with 60% attack and 20% HP just go great on any DPS unit Even some tanks can benefit from the HP 20 and the ribbon effect as well to take up one solid spot So that would be pretty cool to have For a super trust master. I don't really recommend chasing after it, but It's there if you do end up pulling four of them. His trust master reward is Arden's hat Attack plus 40 solid flat 40. So it's gonna be a precious hairpin area it's going to boost dark resistance by 20 percent and enable compose chancellor restore hp and mp and fill lb gauge every turn and i do believe this is two lb gauge crystals every turn and it's basically a refresh and um, regen effect with the restore hp and mp so that's pretty good for arden's hat especially if healing your party every turn is becoming an issue with their party setup his featured abilities warp strike pain damage one enemy and power up with consecutive use it looks like that one is going to be i want to say it's going to be doesn't look like it's a chaining ability actually you know what it is stardust ray chaining ability and it's got a it's a stacking ability so it's going to go Five, it could be stacked up to five times, four and a half times each, 32 times max. And it's a Stardust Ray Chaining ability. So with his Imperil and Imbue, and this is a, actually a non-elemental attack, so it can, it can help out a lot, especially if you're going into those battles where you don't want to be hitting with a certain element. That right there is a stacking ability that's going to be hitting hard. Overkill is a seven star cooldown ability, one use every eight turns, and it... It's going to take his own HP all the way down to 1%, but it's going to boost his attack, defense, magic, and spirit by 250% and then increase all elements resistance by 100%. So this is kind of like an uh-oh button kind of thing. You use this and then heal him up right after, and it's going to give him an insane buff for looks like it's going to be three turns on the buff and one turn on the elemental resistance so that's kind of like a 
uh, I can't cover elemental resistances this turn. Gotta throw this on there because the boss is gonna hit me with some elemental damage. Flames of Rage is going to be his other cooldown ability. One use every five turns, boost attack, defense, magic, and spirit for all allies. Reduce fire and dark resistance for all enemies. This right here is going to be a 100% fire and dark in peril. And enable four turns to caster. Oh, I'm sorry. Fire resistance, 100%. Dark resistance, 120% for three turns to all enemies. And the buff is going to be 150% to all stats for three turns as well. So he's gonna be partial buffer, actually. His buffing abilities are kinda of solid. They're pretty good, they're up there. As far as utility goes for a DPS, he's pretty solid, he's pretty self-sustaining. Uh, he can pretty much do whatever he needs to. So, but, completely necessary? Probably not, but he, he definitely, he's up there. Now, next up we've got King Regis. He's going to be a more of a utility character. He's got a lot of, it looks like a lot of um, barrier abilities, but let's get into what's shown here. His Super Trust Master Rewards, excuse me. Oh, sorry. Got a, got a little, bit of, little bit of air trapped in there. <laughs> Super Trust Master Rewards, Sword of the Father. It's going to be a sword with 163 attack, MP plus 20%. And he has High Tide, so it's a pretty solid S TMR. High Tide on a regular one-handed sword can be paired up with another sword that's got High Tide Plus from uh, the item world, such as your Bowie knife or any other knives you've been taking in there. Nyx's dagger comes to mind too, if if that's something that'll also add elemental resistance. So definitely, if you've got Nyx's dagger and you got High Tide Plus on that, definitely I would pair it up with Sword of the Father. His trust master of the ward is the King of Lucis's character. King of Lucis character? King of Lucis character. Okay. I'm having trouble with that. I don't know why. Boost HP by 20% and attack by 40% and boost defense and spirit every turn. So it's going to be giving them a buff. Defense and spirit buff every turn of 80%. So it's not a it's not a small buff either. A lot of them we get just tiny little 20%, 40%, something like that. But this one's actually a defense and spirit 80%. So if you don't have a buffer, like turn one buffs for defense and spirit, this is pretty good actually. And it's going to go ahead and give HP 20% attack 40. So again, this could also either go on a DPS that needs to be a little bit less squishy turn one and a little bit of HP buff on that or you could actually put it on a tank and give them a little bit more HP you know try and hit that HP cap with a solid defense and spirit turn one buff on themselves his featured abilities looks like he's going to have a cooldown once every five turns Clara's support boost attack defense magic and spirit and enable lucent glaive to be used once for all allies it looks like that's going to be a Attack, defense, and magic spirit buff of 200%. Oh, that's pretty good. For three turns to all allies. Enable skill for one use. So the Lucent Glaive. Let's see what that's going to be. Light physical damage to one enemy is a roll ray chaining ability. Recover MP 200%. Oh. Excuse me, somebody wants to get in on the video. She's just being a pain in the butt today. I just fed her, so she's got all her personality out. Next cooldown looks like it's going to be the King of Lucis Innervation. That's a one use every four turns. Restore HP and MP and fill LB gauge for all allies. Uh, looks like... Restore HP and MP 50% to all allies. So, wow, that's a pretty big restore HP and MP. And increase LB gauge 15 to all allies. So... That's it's gonna put up a lot of LB gauge. It's gonna be a good little you know in between move to kind of just help out a healer, you know, increase that LB gauge for those still lacking. Uh, power of Kings boost physical and magic damage against demons, humans, fairies, and reapers. So this is going to be solid for a lot of the uh, your DPS boost 75% damage against all these types of enemies. So it's gonna be pretty good. 
especially when we've got like we just have we have that demon uh, trial that's out right now that you can get to the Hall of Fame with that's going to be out for I believe next month and a half and uh, if you pull a Regis he's going to give you a little bit of extra damage towards the demons and a lot of utility with this kit with HP barriers and heals so he might be pretty pretty solid for your team on that but uh, as far as that goes seems like a pretty solid banner these units they're from what I understand in JP when they were released they weren't game breaking or anything like that but they're definitely if you pull them they're solid if you're looking for a support and a DPS these these are gonna be fulfilling those roles for you and Arden actually seems pretty good looking at his kit being pretty self-sustaining but uh that's gonna be it for today guys I appreciate it that you guys stuck around for my banner review my very first one for 2020 and uh, she appreciates it too I'll see you guys next time if you want to see some more videos like this hit that subscribe button and uh, let me know what you think down in the comments see you later bye